Um, the music and the voice acting, again, spectacular. It's it fits in perfectly. It's high production qualities all the way. The, cr the Conan music score is gorgeous. It fits in with the fel films really well. It's very mm. epic, um, fully orchestrated, of course. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely worth it. If you are a fan of game soundtracks, grab the limited edition and yeah. get the soundtrack. It is definitely worth your purchase. Um, the other thing to mention, though, is a lot of the game is voice acted, which is different from MMO, instead of having your standard block of text. It is, it is. I find it really good because you can get more involved in the game as mm. a role player. You're able to actually feel like you're making a difference in this world and that you're talking to people instead of just getting a log and hitting accept. Definitely. I mean, and, and on top of that, the voice production is really nice, so you're not going to have something that doesn't fit. You're not going yeah. to find an American accent on a bar whore who lives in Tortage. It wouldn't make sense, and so it's not in there, which yeah. is a big thing. It is, and they all have quite nice accents, and they fit in with the universe. Definitely. Um, the community itself, I've found them to be quite good, actually. I agree. More mature than you would usually get in that kind of an MMO. Yeah, I think I think so. it might be because of the themes used in the game. They're quite... Mature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an adult game, but mm. we can go into that in a moment. Um, the nitty gritty of it is basically the combat and the technical aspects. Like we said, it can run like a dog. Yes. And it can crash a lot, but they only have just released it, so we kind of expect this stuff. Agreeable, but I've got to say, for as far as PC games go, getting a blue screen of death these days... Yeah. It's yeah. pretty painful to go back to those days, but... If you're like me, Conan's kind of worth it. Yeah, um, it is. So it's worth it. But um, the other part of the nitty gritty is the combat, um, which is the thing that's meant to set Conan aside if you've been reading any previews of the game. Um, personally, I really enjoy it. I mean, mm. it's, it's not a huge difference. I mean, there's a huge controversy about the fact that... No well, auto attack. Yeah, it's pretty much a game with no mm. auto attack. You just have to hit the attack direction button, but it does make things a lot more intense. Yeah, I think that you can get more involved in the game. Yeah. And you... Mm, you actually feel like you're taking part and, you know, hacking away at that monster and you do more damage and I just think it's a much more interesting feedback system. Agreed. And with the fatalities that are built into the game, <laughs> it's satisfying. There's yeah. nothing like that mob that's been ganking you for so long. You finally kill it, you stab a knife into its neck, another knife into the back of its neck and slice its head off and that is pretty much what yeah. you're after when you play Conan. And the sound effects make it that much better. Yeah, hearing, really good sound. Hearing the blood it. spray as it spurts out of the neck. Yeah. It's satisfying. It, it's, it's definitely not a game for the lighthearted. No. It, it really is a brutal and very mature, mature. game. I'd have to agree. I mean, it's yeah. attracted a mature community, but not only for the fact that it's very violent, not that it makes it a huge selling point, but also the fact that there's just a lot of mature content. So there's <laughs> things like alcohol, prostitution, um, even the fact that for the females and the males, when you strip them down to their underwear, they're just in pants. Like, yeah. you know, obviously, the girls, as you're probably wondering, do have nipples. Yes, they're nipples. Yeah. Um, which is probably going to please... Some people. Well, everyone. Mm. Yeah. Realism, yeah. I suppose. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps not extreme feminist, but hey. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a, a much more mature game, and it shows, especially in the community. Yeah, it's good. I, I really enjoy it. I think it's a great example of a mature MMO appealing to adults. Definitely. Um, so I think they've taken the story and really worked on it. You feel like you're part of the world. Mm. I really like it. Me too. Um, what's next on our list of things to cover? Let's see, issues that we've come in contact with. Um, I'd say for me the biggest issue is probably going to actually be more apparent later. Because you start out on the island of Tortage and you stay there for the first 20 levels for each character you create. Now, I mean, I don't know about you, but mm. I have ultitis. Yes. I like to create as many ults as I can to experience the game. And if I have to go through the same quests for 20 levels... For every one of your characters? I don't know. It's Might be pushing it. Yeah, I mean, that was the uh, the good thing about other MMOs, is that different races have different starting areas. Yeah. With Conan, every single character you make is going to be stuck for the first 20 levels doing the same quest that you've done before. So, mm. that's obviously going to be a personal issue. The other issue I personally have mm. is lag. Yeah, I get that too. Um, the lack of an Oceanic server, 
means that us Aussie peons have to suffer with a horrific latency spike, yes, which now, can make it impossible impossible to play. Exactly. I mean, usually our lag is about 250 milliseconds, which seems fine, except for when you're about to enter combat mm -hmm. and the enemies are charging, and you hit 7,000, which means that there's 7 seconds between the time you push a button and your character performs an attack. And because there's no auto attack, it's very easy to get killed. Yes, considering your character is mostly fragile and the combat is very quick, mm -hmm. that kind of lag spike, and even just the standard ping, is a bit too much. So, yeah, it is. from Australian gamers, please. Please, Funcom. Can please. we have an Oceanic server? It's not just us, it is Asia as well. Yeah. We all suffer the same thing. Um, we're not a huge community. Well, we, we try, are. we try so hard. We do, we, we, we count, so please, just one server would be nice. Um, but for the, until they do release an Oceanic server, the rest of us Aussies will be stuck on Guala, which is the unofficial Oceanic PvE server. Yes. I highly recommend, unless you feel like spawn camping or being spawn camped, don't roll on the PvP servers. It's not worth your time. There's plenty of PvP on PvE servers. There are mm. still the games and the guild sieges, and that's all you need. Everything really. else. It just means that you don't get ganked quite so often. Now, if yeah. you are a ganker, otherwise, <laughs> make me cry. Go for PvE. Yeah. Um. Finally, the subscription. It's fourteen ninety five a month US, which works out to be about sixteen bucks a month for Australian players. It's pretty average as far as MMOs go. Yeah. Some are a bit more expensive, some are cheaper, WoW's a bit more, Lot is a bit less. But as far as MMOs go, it's a pretty fair price. You, you're point. getting value for your money. I'm not sure how Funcom are as far as commitment to their players goes. Hopefully, they'll stay in and try and improve the game for us. So far, it's fantastic. Yes. And they address as many issues as they can as quickly as they, they can. They have really been on the ball. Yeah, they have. I haven't gone. I haven't experienced a server crash yet, so. No, either. I have to say that is mm, pretty good. Considering good. Conan has had one billion pre-orders, the servers yeah. are expected to be pretty full. But I haven't had a queue yet, and I haven't had a server crash yet. Yeah. They're very good. Yeah. So overall impressions. I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep playing Conan. Mm -hmm. The combat system is worth it to me. Yeah. It is very satisfying. Um, in terms of what I'd rate it right now, I'd probably give it an 8.5, but we have to face the fact that we're not at end game yet. Yeah. So we really don't know how. In terms of MMOs, it really is going to pan out, but at the moment, I'm saying it's, it's going to be a pretty damn good experience. Okay. I'm probably not going to be in there for the long haul. I don't consider myself a hardcore gamer, so I don't think I'd be able to commit enough time to raids and stuff for it. But I'm definitely going to play it for a bit, a bit of hack and slash fun, you know. Good times. It's good times. Yeah. And it's quite a beautiful game if you ever want to get into it. Definitely. So I'd give it an 8. An 8? Yep. No worries. Um, so that was our Conan impressions for the first vlog of AFK Games. <laughs> Next week I'll be looking at GTA 4. And I'll be looking at the Wii Fit. So you can expect those reviews next week. As always, you can find our blog at www.afk-games.blogspot.com or you can find our blogs on our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash afkgames. If you like what you see, please subscribe. We could use them. <laughs> um, hope you have a fantastic night, day, week, month. Whatever you're up to. Um, and we'll see you soon. Thank ne you very much for watching. Next time on AFK Games.